Tánaiste, I'm sure you're aware, as many of us are indeed, that many people are very nervous to walk the streets of our towns and cities at night and even day. Violent crime is a huge concern, and government, we believe, needs to show greater support to Gardaí in tackling this. In recent weeks, we've seen a number of high-profile violent assaults in persons. These and such crimes appear to be happening more frequently, in broad daylight as well as at night. There appears to be a knife epidemic in many parts of Dublin, and many areas are becoming no-go areas. We wake up this morning to hear of a postmistress in Bayside involved in a tiger kidnapping, of a shooting dead of a person at a school in Balbriggan. People to honest are worried and fearful and afraid to walk our streets. And it appears that the lack of Garda presence is feeding that frenzy. And it's not confined to Dublin, as you know. There's a massive meeting in Rossgray during the course of the summer, where counterparts of Dublin and many rural towns and villages throughout the country express their fears, their concerns, and their anxieties about the policy of government in relation to the availability of Garda on our streets. In Dublin, again, a crisis is developing where locals and tourists alike fear for their safety on our main streets. The likes of O'Connell Street and Grafton Street and other well-known streets in Dublin and other towns appear, unfortunately, nowadays to be very threatening. We have drug dealing at Lewis stations. The likes of Dublin is now fast getting a reputation of being a crime-riddled city, unfortunately. Thank you. Very briefly, if I might ask a question, Ciarán Corla. Yep. The lack of Gardaí on the beat, as I said, is a great concern. The numbers of Gardaí on our streets continues to decline. People need assurance from government. They need to know what means, method or way are you and your government going to assist Gardaí to confront crime-riddled cities and towns throughout Ireland today. Thank you. Minister. First of all, uh, in relation to the attack which happened at the weekend, uh, in relation to Johnny Cooper, which I presume you're, you're referencing, I just want to uh, give him and uh, his family uh, the sincere sympathies of the House. Uh, it seems to have been a particularly um, horrific attack. Um, I'm surprised, as you referenced Dublin City, that you're not aware of the uh, complete overhaul that's going on in Dublin City, particularly on both sides of the city centre, over a protracted period of time to actually, in fact, uh, get Gardaí uh, back on the beach um, in uh, the city centre and in the residential areas between, broadly between the canals. This initiative has been hugely successful. Um, if you uh, take the trouble to speak to the Gardaí who are involved in going out uh, to uh, individual communities, to streets uh, and to individual houses, uh, you will find in fact that both the Gardaí and uh, local people have been extremely praising of it and in fact as I understand it, um, the results of this are being constantly evaluated with lessons that may be learned uh, from uh, from uh, what's been happening. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with it or if you've heard of it, uh, but it has certainly resulted in a very significant activation of Gardaí, particularly at street level, on the basis that you appear to wish to see happening. And uh, I would expect that you might actually congratulate the Garda management uh, on this particular initiative. Yesterday morning, <laughs> I was talking to a number of Gardaí uh, at a function down in the Docklands uh, in relation to their experience of the initiative and they were talking about how well it's going in terms of the cooperation of local communities of the kind that you describe as being desirable uh, with the Gardaí. The CSO crime statistics uh, that were released uh, do not uh, 
do not reveal any dramatic changes, but on the other hand, as I know and you know, um, that any crime that happens to an individual is traumatic. Anybody who's subject uh, to whether it's a burglary or it's any other uh, crime, uh, it's an absolutely traumatic experience uh, for the individual. And certainly in relation um, to the Gardaí, you'll be also aware that the recruitment process in terms of new Gardaí being recruited and Templemore being reopened um, has actually uh, commenced. So in fact, um, the strength of Garda numbers has been addressed uh, by this government. So I'm slightly at a loss, Deputy, as to why uh, you would describe, given where the figures are at, any crime any crime is of huge significance to the individual, the family, the street, the community where it happens. Thank but you. in fact, the CSO crime statistics indicate no huge change. And as I say, you seem to be completely unaware of the initiatives that the Garda management have taken to increase, co to actually put Garda on the street and to connect up to individuals and local Thank you, communities. It's, it's Deputy Barry, it's Deputy Barry Callan's question, if you don't mind. Thank you. Deputy Barry Cannon, thank you. Tarnished, Mr. Cooper, and we all send our best wishes to him, is one of many unfortunate victims in recent times. He might be more high profile than others, but he's one of many. Exactly. And I do speak to Gardy, and I empathise with them, and I congratulate them for the efforts that they are making. And I speak to the public too, and as I'm sure you do, or you should do. And I expect if you're talking to many people in large states throughout Dublin, and throughout the country, one of their greatest, one of the biggest points and greatest points that they make is they don't unfortunately see enough Gardaí on the beat. They do not see enough Gardaí available to help and assist them in protecting them exactly. and protecting our streets. We need a greater presence. And I accept what you've said in relation to Temple more in recent times. Question, please. But what assurances can you give this House, and more particularly, can you give those that we represent, the public? What assurances can you give them that come three weeks' time, when you have to make decisions in relation to how you build the recovery, as I say yourself? When you're doing that, will you have cognizance for the fears and anxieties that exist in Dublin and in other cities in relation to the Thank lack you. of available parity? And can you assure this House that you will make funding available and you will increase the number of Gardaí on the beat, on the street, showing presence and giving people assurance. That's what we need to hear. Thank you. You talk about statistics all day long for as long as you like, every week or every day if you wish. But those that I represent and those that I talk Thank to you, Deputy. and those that everybody else here is representing want to hear you commit to this House and commit to the public a commitment to make funding available to improve Thank the you, amount Lord. of Gardaí on the street helping to assure people that they will reside in a safer place. Well, as I said to you, uh, and obviously you suggest that you have some experience of talking to Gardaí, but it seems to me that you're not reflecting in your comments the efforts that the Gardaí are making to revitalise... Well, sorry, you're in denial. It's the... Sorry, please. Sorry. the initiative that the Gardaí have taken to, in fact, revitalise community policing using a model that's being developed on, uh, in the city centre and which has been in uh, operation now for some considerable period of time is bearing very significant uh, fruit in terms of its popularity among members of the public, the appreciation of the community, because the heart of the policing relationship is actually with the community at a local level. In that I agree with you. Community policing is vital. And I think what the Garda management are doing at the moment shows us the way in which to increase contact with the community and therefore collaboration and cooperation which the, with the Garda, which is essential. The second thing is that in relation to the issue of robberies in the wider, uh, 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 both in the Dublin area and other uh, 
large towns and cities. The Gardaí have been operating a number of specific programs because, for instance, these days the motorways, as I'm sure you are aware, have become uh, avenues for uh, professional criminals to travel to distant parts of the country away from their own location. And the Gardaí have set in train a number of very specific programs which have been quite successful in apprehending some of the professional criminals who have been involved in this. Thank Thirdly, you, you, you asked about commitment to the Gardaí. Just let me say that the first recruitment uh, to uh, Templemore since 2009 uh, has taken place this summer uh, with more to follow on and that is the commitment that this government has made to increasing the strength of the Gardaí and I have to say that I and the government were extremely gratified to see the huge interest uh, by people in joining the Guard Force.